Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, Weird and Wonderful, where we've got the biggest dang thing I have ever seen in From the Depths, and is probably the limit of what my relatively new, uh, incredibly powerful computer can actually handle in the game. This is the SBB Olympus Mons by Laser Hacks. And I'm not sure that's how the username is pronounced because the there's L and then what appears to be an upside down A. I'm not sure how that did that, possibly through laser hacking. And this thing is just stupidly big. It is, well, it is, well, have a look here. It is um, two thirds of a kilometer long, 599, 598 meters, 77 meters wide, 82 meters tall. It is 240,271 blocks and volume of almost 700,000 and uses 814,433 cells. And total firepower is ridiculous. Armor cost is 35% of that. And it's, it's just really dang big. And um, because this thing is so big and lags my system so much, uh, I have actually had problems looking inside this thing because you sh you make the blocks vanish and it takes too long. In fact, I'm going to show you how long it takes by... You'll notice the blocks on the front and back have disappeared and now it legitimately takes a minute or more for the rest of the blocks to shrink. So, while we wait for that, I'm going to read from the workshop page. A massive vessel designed to dictate who is allowed the privilege, spelt wrong, of existence. You best pray it finds you worthy. Notice this will likely have a huge performance impact, you have been warned. Thank you for the warning. So, the cost. Yeah, the cost is like 20, like 26,251,890 materials. And it essentially burns a cruiser every minute uh, in combat because... Uh, just the weapon material usage per minute is 193,696, so the better part of 200,000... Oh look, the blocks have finally shrunk. Uh, that usually is instantaneous. It's uh, armed with 7x8 uh, 500mm 8m uh, long shells, and then uh, 40 305mm 300, shells, shells, guns, APS, uh, 24 times 2 203 millimeter guns 24 times 3 203 millimeter guns uh, times 6 uh, 40 millimeter octuple AA 52 times 20 millimeter quad AA 96 medium uh, surface to air missiles 144 medium missile interceptors 32 large torpedoes 56 medium torpedoes and 96 medium torpedo interceptors so this thing is absolutely a uh, redinky dink and I think I just found the torpedoes there. There's a lot of helium pearls in this. And an interesting thing, like, when I saw this on the workshop, I could tell just by the name. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Olympus Mons is the largest mountain known uh, in our solar system. Uh, it is a mountain on Mars that I believe, don't quote me on this, is about twice the height of Mount Everest here on good old Earth. It is huge, and just by the name I realized, okay, this thing's big. And so I initially passed this uh, craft over. I didn't think, like, you know what, it's just being big. It, it, somebody's just showing off. But then I saw it again, and I got curious. How big? And can my computer actually run it? As it turns out, we got lucky. It can, and it's very, very big. I legitimately have never spawned in something this big. And, in fact, it is so big. It is very pretty, by the way. I'm, uh... What the hell? This is unnecessary. These casemates are un are kind of unnecessary. The barrels are wonderfully decorated, though. I believe those are... I don't even know, actually. Anyway, let's shrink all that back. This thing is very pretty, and you do want to like uh, just how beautiful uh, these octuple turrets are. Because they are big, and they are mean, and they are mighty and clean. Is it full connection Tetris in there? Can't actually tell. And now we will never know. What the hell? It's got little... It's got little things on top there. That's very cleverly decorated. How many decorations does this have, actually? Whoops. Okay. Different maintenance tools. It has... Whoa. Ooh. 
It has like 17,000 decorations and mimics. I'm tempted to see what it looks like without those. But anyway, very pretty. Very, very pretty. And if you're wondering uh, what the block count is, so uh, let's go. Block counter. It's mostly heavy armor. It is mostly heavy armor, which explains why it's got so many propellers uh, down here. In fact, by the looks of it, it's just. Yep. That is essentially just a. <laughs> just a, a deco just hiding those props. Who lordy. Oh lordy, I want to read some comments on this, because uh, it uh, it has, uh, as of recording, it has over 200 subscribers, 9 favorites, and uh, the one comment is, Jesus Christ, weapon material usage per minute is 193,696, hope it ends battles in a minute, because yeah, like I said, uh, that's a decent sized, like, frigate or cruiser, depending on what you want to say. Per minute, this thing eats a, a ho the cost of a whole ship per minute. Uh, the level of detail for such a large ship is unreal. It is unreal. Like, this would have taken so long to make. And somebody has asked, finally a worthy opponent to Big Yamato, which I have not looked at. How long did this take to make? And the most important question is, uh, how would I even load it without crashing the game? Well, you need a very grunty CPU, apparently. Uh, I've already forgotten what my CPU is, but it's in the about page of my YouTube channel. Uh, of the channel, if in case you're wondering. This is very pretty. So yeah, it's like, like, I'm not sure what the hell kind of machine this gets built on, so, uh... So yeah, uh, laser hacks? Um, if you've done what I think you've done, like, I suggest you do return the NASA uh, supercomputer that you've stolen, because the future of humanity depends on the development of space travel, and uh, they're probably gonna need it, you know? So, just a thought. I actually want to see how much of this is deco. Will I crash my game if I remove all the deco? Let's see what's, uh, what's under the hood, so to speak. Also, I'm going to see if I can... Nope, that's not a text. That's something else. Dumpty, uh, dumpty, dumpty, dum. Dumpty, 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 dum. This is taking a while. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep, that's a lot less deco. All of the guns were decoed. And a lot of the superstructure was decoed. My goodness. That was a lot of deco. So anyway, like, I know what everyone wants to see. You want to see this thing fight stuff. So, um... I did do a wee little test, uh, just to see if my machine can even run this thing uh, when it's fighting something. It can, um, but it remains to be seen, like, whether it can do that while I'm recording. So, I'm gonna hop into the custom battle, uh, simulator thing, and we're gonna chuck this fella against the Turtle Lord, which is the previous biggest thing I've ever seen. And let's see which one f which one wins in a in a fight. See you there. Alrighty then, we have done it. Setting this up, I gotta tell ya, took multiple attempts because yeah, first time. You, well, okay, you don't need to hear about all that. Um, I have decided to spawn in these two. Uh, on the right is Limbus Mons, obviously, and on the left is the Turtle Lord, obviously. Uh, at a 45 degree angle, uh, just to make it slightly more fair, seeing as I'm guessing the Umbus Mons is a broadsider. Jeez, the friggin' amateur hour right here. Like, I didn't even check what her AI settings are. And the Turtle Lord is a frontsider, so this way they're both equally disadvantaged uh, when they start fighting each other. I do suspect the Olympus is gonna win, uh, simply because she's really big. She's like twice the size of the Turtle Lord. So yeah, I don't I don't know who's gonna win this. This might have to turn into a separate video entirely. Which means I'm gonna have to go back and record an outro for the other weird and wonderful if that's happened, but you, you know what, we'll have to see. Any case, uh, let's begin. Uh, pr brace yourselves for lag. So immediately, I didn't even check what shells this thing fires. So it looks like I'm going to have to check right now. So, Turtle Lord is, a, is already eating it. Gods, these shells are big. You can see how... Okay, well, alright, so nothing fussy... Oh, right, they're, they're AP heat. Of course they are. 
I see AP heat. That looks like hash. Is that hash? That looks like hash. Yeah, it looks like hash. Yeah, it's just a well, hell of a lot of AP HE. And uh, that's probably gonna hit uh, before anything else. I mean, or a huge amount could. Oh well, I guess not. Oh, and that does change things because uh, the Olympus has a lot of sea whiz. Lots and lots of sea whiz. And lambs. Like, really a lot of sea whiz and lambs. I think the Turtle Lord is. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have spawned them at a 45 degree angle. Uh, Turtle Lord's gonna eat it. Yep, hello degraded mode, my old friend. Yep, that looks. That looks problematic. So, what I was gonna say about the Olympus Mons is, uh, this thing is, damn, the Turtle Lord's really copping it. Like, I mean, what did you expect? It's like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 8 equals 48, I think. Yes, it is. 48, 8 millimeter, like, not 8 millimeter, 8, like, meter, 500 millimeter rail, a deacon's hell look at it. This is, this is silly. This is just silly, guys. Um, yeah, that was the turtle. I'm not sure why I thought the turtle lord had a chance. I'm really not sure. Maybe two turtle lords would have a chance. And you know what? I'm not going to test that because my machine is crying uh, as it is now. Or at least not today. If you re if you folks really want me to, I can see if uh, two turtle lords can hack it. But uh, somehow I doubt it. Somehow I doubt uh, my PC will survive the experience. Look at this, like, I thought the Turtle Lord was, like, pretty much unstoppable, like, when fighting surface craft in its weight class, but... Well, well I mean, I guess I just answered my own question here. The Olympus Bonds is in a weight class of its own. And like I was about to say before I interrupted myself again... No. I was about to say that this is so big I don't even know if it's good or not, because, like, at this point, this thing's so big that... Oh, never mind. It's not 48. It's, uh, uh... It's 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. That's excessive. Just the main guns alone would probably mean that it could handle anything in, in the Nita campaign, certainly. Because uh, it would cost about three times as much just with the guns, uh, anything in Nita. This is a ridiculous craft, but it's good. If nothing else, like the amount of time and dedication it would take to make something like this, and make it pretty, is, uh, completely, completely ridiculous. Like, um, remember how when I found the fifth season, uh, and reviewed it, and thought like, right, I must build something that can beat this. Uh, it is a goal for me to do. And then I did, and that was great. I am not going to bother trying to build something to beat this. It's just too big. It's really just too big. I... There is no need for me to ever make something even close to this, unless I really want to, which I don't. If anyone knows of a thing that's as big as this, and can beat it, uh, do let me know, because uh, it'd be interesting to see if that would finally melt my CPU. How is the Turtle Lord doing? Poor Turtle Lord. Oh, bless her cotton socks. Jeez. I mean, she's lasted over a minute, apparently. Although, even though that's like... Oh, we need a screenshot. We absolutely need a screenshot of this thing. We need a screenshot of this ridiculous beast. Ridiculous she is. Look how... Ridiculous she is. Look at how much gun she has. This is an absolute, like, the, like, the Japanese, like, government back in World War II would have loved to make something like this. They would have loved it. And it would have been, uh, absolutely annihilated by aircraft carriers, just like the Yamato. But they would have loved it. Also, Maybe not, because it would violate the laws of physics. I don't think something like that could ever actually exist um, on planet Earth. 
just because it'd be, it would be too heavy, it couldn't float. And it would probably, like, require, like, the resources of, like, several countries, several big countries as well, just to make it. And probably a lot more than that to keep it going. Oh my goodness. I feel breathless just watching this. Like, I can feel how tired my computer's getting. It's just like, oh, you're shaving years off my, off my life. Why? I mean, maybe a giant submarine could take this on. Or just, you know, bomb it from space. You know, the usual. Maybe the Great Filter could take it. Maybe. Oh, there's possibilities. Oh, there's so many videos to do. There's so many videos to see. So many fun things. Like, look at these turtle guts. Turtles are an endangered species, I would have you know. Olympus, what you are doing right now is very me- uh, Where- Where'd she go? Am I crazy? What happened? Oh my god, she s <laughs> She sank! She friggin' sank! Oh no! Oh no, she sank like a rock. She burned through like- how much was that? It was something like three... She burned through so many materials. No way are those mor- The mortars are hitting her. The mortars can hit her. Oh my god, the, the turtle- <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I am- I am so sorry to show this laser hacks, but uh, this is funny. This is- <laughs> the, I was just talking about like how this thing would require like multiple countries worth of resources to you know keep running and lo and behold she's out of juice oh you can't fool the resource requirements oh dear uh oh although i think the turtle lord is despawning or something what is despawning what's happening nope should have had rules enabled. Oh lordy. Oh lordy, something is happening. Pause the game. Pause the game, what is happening? Okay, you know what? That'll do. Um, awesome work, uh, Laser Hacks. I am very impressed with this thing. I will never, ever imitate it. And now it is a museum piece at the bottom of the ocean. That looks kind of cool, actually. Turn this into a submarine, that's what she wants to do anyway. So, uh, thank you all so much for uh, watching this here video. Uh, thank you so much to Laser Hacks for making this this uh, absolutely terrifying giant thing and putting it up on the workshop and sharing it with all of us. Much appreciated. I'm sure the multiple weeks of your life spent making it were not wasted. That's not a joke actually, This 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 is something to aspire to for many people. Oh my goodness, oh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the De I think the Olympus is mashing itself on the seafloor right now. Hang on, before we sign off. That is... Yep, that is exactly what happened. She booped the seafloor. Farewell!